Hello everyone. Today we will learn the bus bar calculation method. But first let me explain the type of bus bar commonly used in panel or rising mains. Either copper bus bar or aluminum bus bars. Copper bus bar have higher electrical conductivity, lower resistive loss and better corrosion resistance compared to aluminum bus bars. However, aluminum bus bar are lighter and more cost effective. The choice depends on factor like conductivity, weight, cost, corrosion resistance and application requirements. Copper is more efficient but expensive, while aluminum is lighter and cheaper. When considering copper conductor, the current carrying capacity of 1 square mm of copper is approximately 1.6 ampere. For aluminum conductor, the capacity of 1 square mm is around 0.8 amperes while these value can vary based on the quality of material we can consider this value as a thumb rule for the bus bar calculation let me take one example to get more clear find proper size of bus bar in which current carrying capacity is 255 ampere so let me choose calculation for copper bus bar Here we have current 255 ampere and 1 square mm copper current carrying capacity is 1.6 ampere as i said through this inputs we can calculate total area of copper which can carrying 255 ampere current so area of copper conductor equal to 255 divided by 1.6 equal to 159.3 square mm That's mean we required 159.3 square mm copper to carrying 255 ampere current. Now to find the suitable size of copper bus bar, we use this formula: area equal to thickness multiplied by width. Through this bus bar size chart, we can select thickness of bus bar. I'm selecting here 10 mm thickness. because this is the standard thickness of bus bar which can generally use in electrical panel or you can select thickness as per current capacity so area of copper bus bar equal to t multiplied by w where t equal to thickness and w equal to width of the bus bar area of copper bus bar is 159.3 square mm as we calculated here and thickness we selected 10 mm through this way we can calculate width of bus bar after solve this equation we get width equal to 15.9 mm since 15.9 mm is not a standard size so we can choose the next bigger width available in the market which is 20 mm with 10 mm thickness therefore the selected size of copper bus bar is 20 mm by 10 mm which is capable of carrying the required 255 ampere current so here we can use 20 by 10 mm of copper bus bar now we will calculate the size of aluminum bus bar which is capable to carrying same current that's mean 255 ampere as i mentioned above the current carrying capacity of 1 square mm of aluminum is 0.8 ampere now based on this data we can determine the appropriate size of the aluminum bus bar the area of aluminum bus bar is calculated as follows area equal to 255 divided by 0.8 after solving this equation we get 318.75 square mm that's mean we required 318.75 square mm aluminum which can carry 255 ampere current so to find the suitable size of aluminum bus bar we use the formula same area equal to thickness multiplied by width and we have calculated the area that is 318.75 square mm and we are choosing a thickness of 10 mm it depends on you you can choose as per your load as per your current carrying capacity or as per your requirement but here i am choosing 10 mm now substituting this value into the formula we get width of bus bar is 
31.87 mm. Since 31.87 mm is not our standard size, we can choose the next larger width available in the market, which is 40 mm with a thickness of 10 mm. Therefore, the selected size of aluminium bus bar is 40 mm by 10 mm, which is capable of carrying the required 255 ampere current. So these are the shortcut and easy method to calculate bus bars. I hope you liked this video. If you have any doubt or queries, please mention them in the comment. I hope you have already subscribed my channel. See you in the next video.